Hey guys, Flubberleaky here today, and welcome back to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. We gotta ride this ride right now. Right, right now. Let's just put it on test. Let's jump on. Away we go! Look at- oh my god, there's, there's some- oh my god, there's so many trucks everywhere! <gasps> Woo! <laughs> this is actually a pretty, like, tight roller coaster. Like, there's a lot of track and not a lot of space, which is pretty good. I like doing roller coasters like this because it's- it's- it's more fun. I don't know. <laughs> it's more fun like that. Look at it! Oh yeah. Intense! Oh god, we're gonna hit the track! Nah, we're good. Coming- coming to the end now, I think. Well, near enough. Not- not quite. Not quite! Almost there, though. Come around, nice bend, and a banked S-bend! Uh, I love these, like, steep, uh, little steep hills. They're pretty cool. Alright, so that's that. So what I do really want to do is put this inside of a building, but I don't... Uh, it's just gonna look awful. <laughs> that's my only concern. It's just gonna look absolutely awful. Um, just gonna get rid of that path, because we don't need that anymore. Because if I put this in a big building, right? Hang on, sorry, this is gonna sound bad. Let me just... Sorry, I'm um, just adjusting my microphone. I don't know how much that picked up, but it's a bit its a bit squeaky nowadays. It's old. Uh, anyways, yeah, I don't know how well it's going to go down. It's going to look pretty bad, in my, in my opinion, if I put a building around it. Um, and I don't... The thing is, I don't want to waste a whole episode making a building that's going to look horrible and then regretting every second of it. I mean, doing a thing like this as Space Mountain could be awesome, but that's only if it works. Uh, like, that building, like, they've got a little picture that looks cool. If I could do something like that, it would work pretty well, in my opinion, but I don't... Don't know how well it's gonna work. Like, if, if... Okay, so if I use these, right? Let's say we build it from... I kinda wanna do it like how they had it. So they had it like... Um, this is just a complete experiment, and I might do this, like, between episodes, or, like, do a speed up of it, or something like that. Don't... How do they... Wait, what? How do they do it, then? Well, they didn't use that. That's like a roof piece. How do they... The frick? Oh. Oh, okay, yeah. No, that makes total sense. <laughs> I just realized. Okay, yeah, so they, they just rotated it like that. Kind of had it going like that. Like, something like this could work, I think. If we do it like that, that could look pretty cool. And then build it around. Um... That looks kind of weird. I could do it like that, maybe? But that looks- I mean, it all looks kind of weird, to be honest, but, uh... It's sci-fi, it's supposed to look weird. So, what if we do something like this? So, it has, like, a weird little curve on the outside. Does this weird little wibbly bit over here. And bring this up. Oh, sorry. Put it like this, and it's got a little more. A little more this way. And then it will come around the back. Maybe something like that. Let me, let me just build, like, the footprint of this place. Um... I kind of like the, sh the shape of it, I guess. Oops, hang on, do it like that. Um, and then if we do, if I do it like this, and then I can come back and do it later. Or like in, in my time, not in your time. Because I think if I did the whole building in a video, honestly, it would be the pits. It would be so boring. <laughs> It'd be the most boring thing you've ever seen. Just because I would get angry, you'd get angry, everybody would be angry, and we don't want that. Um, let's go like this. I don't know if I'd like it like that. I mean, I could do it like this way. Is that how they did it? I don't know how they did it. They kind of have... And I can't really see what they've done, but we could do it that way, I guess. Just little bits like that maybe look better. I guess because it's more consistent. So that's kind of weird because that's in the wrong spot then. That should be like there. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know. I guess, give me your, give me your feedback on this. And then I can go from here and, and see what it turns out like. I think I'll leave it like that. So basically, it'd be something like that. Just a big, crazy kind of building. Um, but we'll leave that for now. And you can tell me what your thoughts on the matter are. And I totally forgot. I, I don't know why, but for some reason, like, uh, people say this in the comments. So thank you for reminding me. But all the sci-fi themed, like, uh, uh, th uh, thrill rides, sorry, are all in the generic category. Which doesn't really make any sense. Uh, <laughs> at all, and I don't know why. So you got Gravitron, and you got like, um, where are the other ones? So yeah, the motion simulator for sure. Um, Robot Arm is totally sci-fi. Uh, what else have we got in here? Let's give me some other sci-fi themed things. 
I don't know. It's just weird. I don't. I don't see the point of having a sci-fi category if they barely use it. Anyways, let's go get grab the motion simulator because everybody in Rollercoaster Tycoon Three loves that. Like you put it down and people just freaking flock to the thing. Um, this would be cool in a building, I think. If you do this like in a building, like you know how you always have those motion simulators in buildings at theme parks. I think if we do, it's gonna be like. If we do it like this, I'm gonna leave enough room so I can fit a wall in, first of all. I'm just thinking, I'm just trying to design this from like a, uh, perspective. So we'll do it like this, and then you have the exit here at the side, and it just goes up to this pathway. And then what you do is you have like the, the, the pathway like zigzagging through the building and all that kind of cool stuff. Um, so we're gonna go like, I, like this. And then we'll build- I'll build a building around it in a second, so this come through here. And come out like that. It's not gonna be too big, like, the building will be around this here. Uh, and I think that could be pretty cool. Because you you always see motion simulators inside buildings, they always have like some mad ass theme. Because, they're so- they're so small, but everybody wants to go on it. And it takes forever to get on, and I don't know why. But, um, motion simulator. Uh, by the way, we should go through and name all these at some point, because I have not been taking names yet, um, and I gotta do that. I'll do that at some point. I will do it, maybe I'll... Oh, okay. Okay, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. <laughs> Let's go back to sci-fi. I get so many... Oh my god, so many of these animals are giving birth. We're gonna be overrun with bloody animals everywhere. Have we got too many rhino? Have we got one rhino? Well, not one, but two. I think kangaroos are breeding, like, little rabbits over there. How are the cats doing? They're not attacking each other, which is good. Gazelles are like giving birth for days. Oh my god, there's a couple of giraffes. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, okay. There is, I don't know, it's just... Can we like... Make them sterile or something? Or is that frowned upon? No. <laughs> okay, let's get a steel building, because I do like this one, if we can build it right. Um, so if we do it like this... I don't know if this- Hang on, if we do it like- I'm just trying to- I'm just trying to design it whilst I'm... At it. No, this needs to come over one more, I think. If we build it here, and here. So this is like the corner piece here, like it is over here. Um... And we have- where's our regular wall piece? Like that. Um, how do I want to do this? No, I kind of want to, I'm going to have to, yeah, hang on, I'll move it in a second. So I'll build it like this. And I guess I'll do the corner over here too. I just want cool looking buildings. I've, ne like, buildings in Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 have never been my strong suit, I'll give you that. They have never been my, my forte. At oh god. <laughs> Let me just get rid of these before I start putting this part on. <laughs> Because if you, if you think about what I had there and what I'm doing over here now, uh... Wasn't the best combination! Um... <clears throat> anyways... So if I do... I'm just trying to... I want it to look sci-fi! Why is it so hard to make things look like sci-fi things? I don't... I'm terrible at this. I'm just... I'm not a... Relicus Tycoon 3 building designer. I'm just not. Oh, that's too high as well. Let's place it up higher. Right there. What if we do it like that? Now it looks like a pair of tits or something. I don't know. It's just not sci-fi. It's just horrible. <laughs> and I don't want a big chunky building. Maybe we do it on the side here. Hang get rid of this robot. We're gonna have to move that robot out of the way. If we do it like this. Um, and then maybe bring it around like that. I don't know. But I can't do it over here because it's stupid entrances in the way. Oh dear, dear, dear. Because I really, ideally the wall should be there, and then you have the rest here. I guess we could just play around with it and see see how we go. But it's going to look like a castle then, isn't it? Isn't this more of a castle design now? Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh dear. See, I top I touch. Okay, what we're going to do. Here's the new plan. Here is the new plan, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's grab some walls, and we're just gonna- we're just gonna put walls in, and then we'll put the design in later. <laughs> actually, this needs to come out one more. Uh, actually, no, I'll leave this wall here. 
I've decided to leave this wall here. Um, but we're still going to bring this out one more because the edge of the building is over here. Because that's where the exit is and that's where I want the edge of the building to be. Like this. Oop, that's completely wrong. Somewhat like this. There you go. And obviously I put walls underneath it in just a second. I'm just building up the wall here. And bring it down. Like that. Like that. Oh. And wonderful. See, this is why uh this is why I don't <laughs> don't want to do a, a scenery building episode. Oh no, the wall's too low down. Oh, I can't get rid of it. This is like a little bit of it though. Why can't I get it? Oh hang on, if I zoom out, it's there. Ah, uh, we're screwed. I can't get rid of it. Don't even know what to do. Um, yeah, that's why I don't want to do an episode like this, because I'm just going to be building this. And that's what I feel like the sci-fi world is going to be mostly about, just constantly building it. Uh, that wall needs to be that way. But I can't do it. Oh, well, fine. It's going to go that way. Good enough. Um, bring this along here, too. Gone up one, down. Wonderful. And because the commentary gets really boring when I do this as well, I hate doing videos like this. I apologize in advance for the boringness of it. I'm trying to just get this done. And that stupid wall is in the wrong spot down now. Um I just wanted a cool building. Is that so much to ask? Um uh, what I can do actually if I grab Um none of those. They don't really help, do they? If I grab one of these, put it on the corner. And then I obviously need to put it in a curved piece there, preferably. Um, we'll do the same over here. Just get a bit, give it a bit of pizzazz. Is that in the right spot? I don't even know. Yeah, it looks right. Uh, we'll grab one of our corners. Like that, there he goes. Now we're getting a bit sci-fi, look at that! That's crazy! What is this good for? Uh, nothing. Not in that situation anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a bunch of... That's pretty cool, you can use these curved roofs. Uh, a bunch of these. I wanna put a regular wall. A regular wall, as soon as I find it, there it is. Here somewhere. Like that. Same there, and then we'll do like a curved corner here again, I suppose. Obviously, it's gonna look a little weird with the entrance there, but that's okay. Oh, I can't really do it here because the pathway's too high, isn't it? Wait, what level is that at? Up there? Alright, let me just copy it over here. Is that right? It's about right at the wrong level. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just gonna leave this. I'm gonna- okay, I'm gonna do this between episodes because I honestly- uh, I've said it too many times. I do not want to bore you with that. Okay, let's leave that alone. Um, but you- you get the idea and I'll show you what it looks like next time and I'll probably do a similar thing with that roller coaster there if you want to see that. Um, but it makes for a very boring episode so let's go ahead and do something more fun, shall we? Let's put, um, some amenities. First of all, let's get rid of all these lights just randomly in the middle of the pathway because that's really weird. I need to be careful here and click the right thing. Get rid of all these random lights and I want to put things down the center of this um, pathway. Actually, what could be really cool is have a roller coaster run down the center. Ideal- we really should have the monorail coming down the center to be honest, but it's over there now. <laughs> so that's what it's gonna do. Um, oh! Yeah, see, that's what I didn't want to do, but I've just made someone fall to their untimely death. Even though they didn't die, but they should have in reality. That's okay. Um, Alright, let's, let's pick him up. I'm sorry, buddy. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Put you up there. Okay. Nice. Right, let's go ahead and do some things now, because we got rid of those weird lights in the middle. Um... Kind of just want to do sort of bathrooms, information booths, kind of that, that kind of stuff in the center of the path anyway. So we'll put like an information booth there as you come into the sci-fi world. I think we'll put a toilet here. Um, and that's probably it for now. 
So we'll rotate that around. Bring it up. There you go. Information booth number two. We'll get some bathrooms. Chuck them in there. Alrighty. Looking at foin. Looking mighty foin. Um, and I, I think I'll finish building around this as well. Because uh, I honestly, when, when we have a bunch of buildings going on here, I think it's going to look really good. But for now, <laughs> it's kind of dodgy. It's going to take forever for me to do so. Yeah, we'll do that between. Okay, let's go ahead and get some other... I shall open this up because that doesn't need to be closed. It's free, right? I'll build... Maybe I should build an entrance on this as well. Um, just so we can open this up. Get, uh, get that rocket ship. Uh, we'll do the exit over... Actually, we do the entrance on that side. I think we do exit this side, entrance on the other side. Because so I have, I have a plan. I have a dream. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, and I'll design this building properly as well later on. Um, we'll use the default pathway. So this is just going to come out here. Actually, no. It's going to come out here. Um, so that, that dream was short-lived because I don't know how it's going to work now. <laughs> okay, what we'll do, bring it above the ride. Is that high enough? Is that too high? I don't want it to be too high. I want it to be just enough. Okay, that's not enough. And that's not enough either. Okay, so we need to go up one more, I guess. Um, so what I'm thinking is, first, I'll cover this in a building so it doesn't look so atrocious, because right now it is not looking fantastic. So we'll bring it down here, is what my fantastic dream was. And I'll put a regular pathway there. Something like that. I shall get rid of that one there. So it comes down like that. Uh, and then it'll be covered in a building. So it'll be like a building here that you enter and it'll be all sci-fi and crazy. We'll open that up. Make it free as well. Get some peeps rolling in on that. Uh, and then that's looking pretty, pretty good. Uh, what other... So let's have a look at some other air quotes sci-fi rides that aren't actually in the sci-fi category. So we've got our motion simulator. We should get Gravitron to put this over here somewhere. This looks like a pretty good spot. Let's chuck it back a bit. I don't really like having it standing over like that. I guess I'll fix that in a minute. Chuck that there. Like that. Give it a tester. And we'll actually go back to the sci-fi path here. I don't. That's an ugly pathway. Do it like that. <laughs> that's better. Okay. Open that up. Safest Park Award. Congratulations. What I'm going to do though, because yeah, like I was saying, I don't like how they're hanging over the edge like that and it looks kind of weird. I don't like how it does that. It's actually not going to change that into proper... Uh, I don't want to replace the rides. Let's put water on the moon! Oh, we can't put it very high because the ride goes there. Damn. <laughs> Let's put water in this crater! Oh, and the ride goes there too. True, true, true. How about this one? Oh, there you go. You can have a nice big lake on the moon. Which I don't really want to do. If we could make the water a different color, that'd be fun. But we can't, so we'll leave that. Um, okay, so we got those rides. I think these will look good when we have a few buildings around the place. So I'm happy with that. I think the sci-fi world is one of those things that it it needs the the need, it really really needs the scenery. And when I do it, I think it will look a million times better than it does now because. To, me, to be honest, right now, for me, this looks pretty, pretty crap. <laughs> it's not it's not making me happy. Uh, but I'm going to spend a bit of time and get it all nice and decorated. Um, I'm just having an overview of the park, because generally when you have a nice overview, you can tell what needs to be done. Some of these exhibits just look empty. Like, that one looks fine, I think, but some of these, like this grass here in the middle needs something. That does kind of empty. I don't know. Um, okay, so we've got a couple of sci-fi rides. And that'll do it for this little area here. Um, we just need to do a couple of things back here, probably. Not sure what else we could do, really. I guess I need some suggestions, of course. We could do another pool, but I don't know if that would be the best for a sci-fi world. Um, I don't know. 
and we need to decide what other worlds we're going to do. I think I, I can't remember if I'd already planned them out or not, but um, these are pretty small worlds actually, these two. They're not very big are they? because we got a ton of space back here. Yeah, we got a ton of space. Maybe we could even do four more worlds, just a lot smaller than some of the previous ones. Um, okay, but other than building scenery right now, I'm not really sure what I could do. I guess we'll have a quick sneak peek. I don't know why I said sneak peek. Have a quick look at uh, some rides that we could possibly use. Robot arm, that's what we could do actually. We'll chuck that one over here somewhere. Um, I need to level out some more of this terrain so we can actually use it. Uh, so I think we'll do that. Just grab the level tool. We'll use some of this spot here. Bring some of that up too. Use this area back here. Have a few more rides in this sector. I don't know why I've been using the word sector a lot lately. <laughs> like in the other episode where I was talking about sector A and sector B. I don't know. It's just just it's just been my word lately. Um, all right, so we'll use this. Like oh oh my god, yeah, nice one, <laughs> nice one. All right, like that. That's looking good. Let's get a ride. Uh, I think pretty much all the rides we're gonna do here are gonna need a building of some sort. What am I doing? Um, to sort of. Not camouflage them, but sort of give them a bit of design aesthetic. Which is, okay, so they're walking that way. Elephant is about to give birth. Great. More birth. Uh, we'll put it there. We'll have entrance. Maybe this side. Exit that side. Give it a test. Give it a squeeze. Little exit path. Oh, not that pathway. This one here. That is not going to be long enough, I can tell you that now. Oh, well, it might be, actually, but... <laughs> well, it might be. We'll do it like that. That'll do. Open her up. See if people come over. We'll do a few shops down here, too, as well. Because uh, at the moment, there's no reason for them to come down this way. Other than, the, I guess, the monorail dropped them off up here so they could have a quick stop over at the robot arm. Um, Let's go sci-fi. No sci-fi food. We got the drinks though, so, which are always good. Chuck them in there and get the other one. Nice. And we'll get some hashtag sci fi food, which is actually not sci fi. What's sci fi? Pretzels are pretty sci fi. <laughs> I mean, that's an out of this world shape, so it's going to be sci fi. Give him a hot dog too. It's like a, a space food stick right there. Okay, so that will help with that. We'll get a bathroom up here. Oh, we got one just over there. We'll put it a little further this way. Put it here. So when I come off the, the monorail, I guess I need to go to the toilet. I can. That's always handy. A handy dandy notebook. Uh, we'll put an information booth up here too, actually. Just in case they're lost. And they don't know what to do. Okay, so we got... <laughs> this is like one dude going down over here. We've got quite a few people in this little area, which is nice to see. Got a lot of people walking. Uh, which is good. And that bench is right in the way. They, they don't care. They walk through it. Um, we have quite a lot of people up here too, don't we? Which is good. It's always good because one of the things about this game is if you can't get people to get to the other areas of your park, like if they just physically don't go there, then it's kind of sucky. You really want to try and make them get places. So that's why transportation is good because it chucks them over here where they have to get off. <laughs> um, how many people are queuing for this? I guess not many because... I really like this little section here with all the greenery, it looks really nice. Um, I can't even remember what this ride is like. I want to ride it, let's ride it. It's been so, it's actually been, because I, I do these episodes so far apart, which I really don't want to, I really want to do them more often. Um, it's kind of hard sometimes. And also because GTA 5 is coming out in a number of hours for me, by the way. So right now, for me, GTA 5 is like nine hours away. Like how crazy is that? Nine, no, that's not right. That's bad maths right there. But <laughs> it's a number of hours away. It's, um... No, that was good maths. It is nine hours away. Sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. By the way, my GTA 5 series I will be doing, of course. Everybody on YouTube who does gaming is going to be doing GTA 5. Every man and his dog will be doing it. Uh, but my GTA 5 series will be on my other channel. Not my Sims channel, but my other other channel. Um, not Absolute Pixel, but my other... Okay, I'll link it. Um... Because I've actually got three personal channels now, uh, which sounds like a lot, and it kind of is, but 
for me, it makes sense. One of my channels is for Sims. One of my channels, this one here, is like for Rollercoaster Tycoon, basically, and the occasional Minecraft or Cube or that kind of game. And then my other channel is like, kind of like the occasional vlog, I suppose, and just random gameplay that I don't put much effort into. <laughs> that I just want to do just because I want to. Uh, I don't really, I just want to sort of chill out. I've been doing GTA 4 on there. Uh, and I'll be doing GTA 5 there too. That was a shameless little plug for me. Not really shameless, but it was a plug. Um, okay, so I guess I, I, I'm really stuck of, of what to do right now just because the next thing I do want to do is do all the buildings and that's going to take forever. I'll probably record it but speed it up because I think that'll, that'll be better just so I don't waste, um, well, just so you, you see it and see it in progress and, and it's kind of that kind of stuff. That'll be good. Uh, so I guess I'll do that. Um, but I'm going to end this episode here, I guess, because I, I don't have anything else to do right now. Um, but once I get all these buildings done, then we can sort of have a look, step back and see where to go from there. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Rollercoaster Tycoon 3. I hope it wasn't too monotonous and boring considering I was building that thing for a while. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it to some degree. Uh, we'll be back next time, hopefully with some awesome buildings. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you later.